Heather's just been telling me. Apparently saw Davina getting in a car with Jack. Jack Ripper? Yeah. <sighs> surprise, surprise. I knew he'd come back. Yeah, that's it then. We must be back together. Mika? Chloe, there's nothing we can do about it. They're adults. She's obviously made her choice. Well, we've got to do something. Like what? I don't know. Mika, I really like her. She's the only person that took me seriously with my hairdressing. And you can't say she wasn't nice to you with all your eco-warrior stuff. Even if Tom wanted her back? He does. Mika, he loves her. I know he does. You know it too. Come on, think of all the women he could be bringing back. Chloe, even if you wanted to get them back together, it's too late. It's definitely looking unlikely. Rimmer back on the scene. Tom doesn't stand a chance. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? It's not quantum physics. No offence, but... Rimmer's just got this irresistible magnetism that Tom works. Tom's better than Rimmer any day of the week. If you say so. OK. Let's see how Mr Irresistible copes when he's got us two to contend with. Right, I've got to go. Meet me at lunchtime, yeah? You've been in a wee world of your own this lesson. It's all right. <laughs> Dubai. You know, I thought Jack was all for the kids. But it sounds like he's just taking the money and running as fast and as far as he can. You never know with him. It seems like he's totally changed, though. He's very sure of himself. Well, good luck to him. But it sounds like this could be your chance for a wee holiday. He could be living on that Dubai Pam. No. Oh, my God. Well, um, he's leaving tomorrow, so... Well, what are you going to do? You're not going, are you? I don't know what to do. I... I'm meeting him tonight. You've extra load of the flowers for next lesson. Brilliant, thank you. Does he know? No. Tonight at the Langfield Hotel, so I... So you're going? No. I haven't made up my mind yet. Well, if you haven't made up your mind, you must still be considering it. Well, don't stay on my account. I'm not going to get involved in a beery contest with Jack Rimmer. You want him. You go and get him. Oh, you seem to know what you want in your life. That's great. I don't. Mm. Actually, I get half a dozen. I was thinking single rose that's a bit now. Yeah. Or a dozen. Or two dozen. Or 23. Did you see that film where the guy becomes convinced that the number 23 has portents of disaster? Just get six and hurry up. I'll tell you what, I'll just get six. Right, how you doing? Um, dear Davina, I'm sorry for what I said. This is just daft. Please, let's talk about this away from Chloe and Mika. Tom? Me and Chloe were thinking, why don't you take us out to a nice restaurant tonight? Try and cheer you up a bit. I don't need cheering up. You could have fooled us. If you're talking about me and Davina, I told Chloe. The feeling's mutual. Okay, well, just cheer me and Chloe up then. 
Come on, Tom, we're really looking forward to it now. We'll do the booking. Maybe at the weekend, hey. Okay. Fine. To close right then, you do blame her. I don't blame her for anything. Well, that's what she's going to think, isn't she? Well, make her. All right, we'll, we'll go. But it's a nice gesture. Yeah, but an empty one. You've been a wee bit hard on him, don't you think? This? It's all about Jack. It's an antlers thing. Oh, if he really feels this way about me, then why doesn't he tell me to my face? Because he's not very good at it. No, because he doesn't believe it. 